Hey YouTube, this is Blueberry7497 here, and I'm back with another tech video. In this video, I'm going to be taking a quick look at iOS 6 running on the iPod Touch 4th generation. Let's get started. Okay, so first up is the App Store. Now, I've encountered several problems when going into the App Store. Um, normally, when I go to search on, old, on the old App Store for iOS 5 and below, for example, if I type CNN, now I'm not sure if this will do it now, but I do get force closes uh, continuously throughout the App Store in various places. So you can see um, you can see the App Store there just closed, and all I did was search for CNN. And you can see I have no other apps running, so it's not like I have a lot in memory. Um, let me try and go into the App Store again without searching. Um, that's one problem that I've encountered. Uh, I've been able to sometimes search and sometimes not, but uh, anyway... So if we go and the features tab, featured tab looks to be fine, you can see we have editor's choice up here with various apps, free, just things that are featured. Uh, we can see games, and they now have a new, a new look to the uh, App Store, which is very nice in my opinion. Um, you can see charts, uh, paid, free, top grossing, uh, and then you can just uh, select a different category if you'd like. Genius will go ahead and collect uh, information about your uh, app preferences uh, from what you've downloaded and place other apps that you may like based on those apps that you already have and I get another force close. So that's all we're going to be taking a look at for the App Store. Um, iTunes I believe is a little bit better in this aspect that it doesn't uh, in that it doesn't force close as often um, that I found. Um, so we'll go ahead and let this load. Uh, as you can see HBO Go is here already. Uh, so in the uh, in iTunes, it'll go ahead and give you details. You can see reviews related, and this is the same for the App Store. Uh, you can go up here. Uh, yeah, you can go up here into the Share menu and share it through mail, message, Twitter, Facebook, or you can just copy the link and send it uh, any way you'd like. There, it'll give you a description, what's new, information. Uh, developer info and version history if we click that um, if we click the three dots it'll give us a, a, ver a history of things that we've previewed we can see movies TV shows and music as normal um, I won't spend a lot of time in that if you have iOS 6 you can take a look I'll just briefly cover this you can see the different kinds of music it look again it looks just like the App Store only for uh, music movies TV shows uh, things of that nature. Next, we'll be taking a look at the camera. Um, it's a there are no ma major improvements to the camera. Um, only the fact that it, the UI is just changed up a little bit. The options we still only have the grid and uh, change the to the front facing camera. Um, if we swipe to the left, we can take a look at the most recent picture, um, and we can swipe back. We can switch to video mode, and that's about. Uh, it and just the UI down here looks a little different in the camera. Next, we have uh, photo sharing. So if we jump into photos um, and we go to the camera roll, you can see um, you can see it looks somewhat the same. But we can go ahead and hit the sharing option, and we now get a list, uh, a, or not a list, but a grid of sharing options. We can email it, message, and we can send it to the photo stream. We can tweet it, we can uh, send it to Facebook, assign it to a contact, print, copy, or use as a wallpaper. Um, if I hit the Facebook uh, button, um, it'll bring this up, and I can uh, just type something. Um, uh, sharing. Sharing for my iOS 6 review. And you can hit post. You can add the location and change the group that you want to sh uh, share it with. And then you'll hear that uh, sound, much like you're sending a, an email. Next up, we have uh, tap and, and tap to post and tap to tweet. Since I don't have a Twitter account, I don't have this uh, configured. But here it says at the top, tap to post. Um, kind of hard to see. Tap to post to Facebook. Again, it's much uh, like the photo sharing. Um, you can add a location and uh, change the audience that you share your post with, whether it be friends, custom, public, uh, anything like that and then you can also uh, if you have your Twitter account and, um, configured you can also tap the tweet much uh, in the same way as you tap the post uh, next we'll dive into uh, settings um, settings here we have 
Uh, we have a list. We have some new settings here for um, specific to iOS 6, uh, such as this "Do Not Disturb" and "Do Not Disturb." You can, um, as it says, a moon icon will appear next to the status bar, and incoming FaceTime calls and alerts will be silenced. So, uh, if you have your uh, volume on and, and you don't want to turn it off uh, at night because you have to turn it back on in the morning, you can just turn on "Do Not Disturb," and uh, and these incoming alerts won't uh, won't be sounded. Um, you, so you can set a schedule and allow calls from certain people. If certain people repeatedly call you, you can uh, enable this feature so that it'll come through. Um, nothing different there. Uh, in privacy, we can go ahead and take a look at the things that other apps may request uh, uh, access to. So, in, in, for example, in contacts, uh, you can have apps that uh, that may request access to your contacts and you can either accept, uh, l allow them or deny them and then you can come in here and, and configure it later so for example if I didn't want to have text free to have access to my contacts I could switch that off um, iCloud, Mails, Contacts, Notes, all this is pretty much the same you see a new maps uh, setting down here uh, which will get to the app in a few seconds um, you can just change the distance to miles or kilometers always English uh, Label size can be small, normal, or large. Um, and then down here we do have the Facebook and Twitter integration. Twitter in iOS 5 was somewhere up here, but they have now added a new little section for Twitter and Facebook. Um, photo and camera, all this is just about the same. There isn't much different in iOS 6 than there was in iOS 5, which is why it's such a brief review. Um, if we take a look at the Maps application, which is here, Pull this away. Um, <clears throat> okay, so as you can see, I was taking a look at Paris earlier. Um, uh, maybe you can't see, but this is this is Paris. Um, so in iOS 6 for the iPod Touch fourth generation, you don't have the flyover feature or um, or the 3D um, feature. What you do have though is this option to go to where your location is. It'll it'll take you all the way back to where you are. Uh, you do have a bookmarks up here in case you find places that you want a bookmark. You can go ahead and do that. Um, right here you can get directions. Um, so you can get directions and by default it says current location and you can get uh, driving, walking, or bus directions. Um, you can see uh, different traffic alerts here. Uh, so in Paris, we got w road work. Um, you can drop a pin, print high traffic, standard hybrid, select standard hybrid or satellite mode. Um, as far as the maps, because I have uh, an Android device, I don't normally use the maps for iOS, uh, or I mean, uh, excuse me, for the iPod Touch or iOS for that matter. Um, but I have heard that there are. Uh, funny things that go on when you try to do uh, flyover features near the, I believe it was the Brooklyn Bridge, near the uh, Statue of Liberty. So these are just things that uh, I'm sure Apple will take care of in the next uh, in the next minor update for iOS 6. So if you are running iOS 6 and run into these feature uh, these problems, don't worry. I'm sure it'll be corrected soon. Um, uh, last but not least, um, unless I remember something else, uh, we have the new uh, weather app. It's such a small uh, small upgrade, but I thought it was worth mentioning. Um, you now have a different uh, color, um, hue of blue, and for the most part, the rest is the same. It's just they just changed the color a little bit. Thought it was worth mentioning though. So. One last thing I almost forgot to mention is uh, the new music player. Uh, in iOS 6, the music player has had uh, an overhaul and a uh, revamp in look. Uh, as you can see, it's got a more uh, light tone to it. It's kind of like a white. Um, so here, uh, the functionality is still the same. It's just the UI that appears different. Um, you still have the store button up here in the top left-hand corner to uh, easily access I the iTunes store. Um, we show albums, more songs, artists, playlists. Uh, if we go ahead and go to my now playing, you can see uh, if you don't have an album art, uh, it looks a little different with the with the note there, um, and uh, the the controls for shuffle and repeat. 
uh, or loop are orange and uh, the UI in here is a little is black, white, and orange. Um, so that was the music player. There, uh, a few things I'd like to mention though is uh, in iOS 6, um, if you didn't already know, the Google Maps is gone. Uh, you now only have the Apple Maps. Um, however, there are workarounds, which I may post a video up, about how you can still use Google Maps on your iOS 6 device. Uh, YouTube is gone, but app, uh, Google has gone ahead and submitted uh, a YouTube app into the App Store, which you can download for free, um, which I do have a review on, which I will have a link somewhere, either in the video or in the description, if you'd like to take a look at how that looks. Um, other than that, there isn't much to go over. You do have Passbook, which is something I probably will never use. But Passbook is a way that you uh, is a, an app that allows you to store boarding passes, tickets for movies, events, uh, store cards like uh, gift cards and coupons all in one spot, so that you can uh, easily access them when you're at when you're at those stores or uh, or airports. Uh, you can click the App Store and it'll bring up a list of different applications that take you, that make use of uh, Passbook. So in a way it kind of replaces your, uh, it, it's an attempt to replace your, the, the little coupons that you have or the little things that you have on your key ring that you like scan at Albertsons or, um, or things of that nature or Target. So um, that was Passbook. That was my review on iOS 6 running on my iPod Touch 4th generation. If you like this review, go ahead and hit the like button or thumbs up. Subscribe for more and uh, leave a comment down below if you have a question or, or a comment. And um, stay tuned because I will be having a giveaway. I have decided to be uh, I have decided to give away a Google Play gift card and an iTunes gift card. Um, so again, just go ahead like this video and stay tuned for the giveaway. Thanks.